Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I'm just about to head out for work. I didn't sleep good at all last night. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I have been like dealing with anxiety for a long time, a few years now, uh, on and off. And it was pretty bad last night for no reason. Like everything was fine. Um, and I fell asleep and then I woke up at 1030, literally the second Eddie texted me that he was going to run out to CVS to get melatonin because he takes it to help him sleep because um, he has a lot of trouble falling asleep most nights. And I shot up in a panic when I read it because I didn't want him to go out in the snow when something would happen and it just, I don't know, like I got a really, I just panicked and he, he didn't go, he ended up staying and then I was up every hour last night just full of anxiety for no reason and like it's sticking with me today. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just something that I've dealt with for a while and I was fine. I went to therapy for a while because it used to be triggered by money worries and now it seems to be like manifested into I worry about Eddie all the time. So I think it's time I really put myself first and maybe look into going back to therapy and just talking to someone because I could talk to Eddie about it, I could talk to my mom about it, but it just doesn't make it better. I also think it might be part of my like vitamin D deficiency because I don't get to spend enough time outside and that can make you depressed, which could be confused with anxiety. I don't really know. But I'm dealing with that this morning and kind of sucks. <laughs> um, and I'm very tired, which also makes it worse. So, you know, like I find myself just being like, everything's okay, you're okay, it's fine. And I know it's fine, but it doesn't matter, you know? So, um, my car door was frozen shut this morning. I just was warming my car up and I'm gonna head out. Roads are very icy, and we're supposed to be getting more snow and ice tonight into tomorrow. <sighs> I need the spring and summer in the worst way right now. Word on the street is we're getting another snowstorm tonight into tomorrow. Um, so I don't have to go into work until noon, if at all. Otherwise, I'm just going to work from home. Apparently, it's just gotten to the point where the snow is so ridiculous, I can't even tell you. Because right now, it's gorgeous out and everything is melting from yesterday. See, can you see it falling? Not really, but it's all melting away. And then it's just gonna pile right back up. Um, I had to come home before I go to the gym in a few minutes because I forgot my chest strap and my little monitor for my heart rate monitor. So I'm here with these two monkeys until I leave. Uh, yeah, so pretty busy day. I just feel like I haven't worked a full week of work like in the office since the new year because Snow, holidays, neurovirus, it's craziness. And we're already in February. Oh, I can't wait for spring. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much. I'm feeling better than I did this morning. It's been a rough week so far. Just um, some things in my personal life, which I'll eventually get into, but nothing serious. Um, everything's okay. But, you know, just unexpected things personally in addition to my anxiety, which Eddie thinks is, might be part of the trigger, but I'm okay, I'm fine, everything's fine. I shouldn't have even mentioned it. Um, what you got, you got all your toys out. Huh, you guys had a, a fun time playing while I was working hard so you could have cookies. Uh, what you got, you got Mr. Fox? What does a fox say? Meow, 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 meow. Actually, he's probably saying, ow, 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 ow. It seems as though the norovirus has struck again. I think, I don't know, but I think maybe Becky had got it. Possibly from Lauren who had it last week. This thing is just going around and will not disappear. Or it's just a stomach bug, but she had to leave class early, which always sucks because, you know, you don't want to miss out on a workout, especially one that you pay extra for. So, what's the calorie burn? 623. I was probably just covering the microphone, but you know, that's what happens when you're an awesome vlogger like me. Now I'm home. I just took my men out for a little strolly. Max, did you have a good time out there? Did you have a good time out there, old chap? Huh? Tell me all about your day. Oh, you gave him a kiss. Max doesn't kiss anybody and he just kissed you guys. I'm going to shower, put on some PJs, and yep, I don't have any... Real plans to do anything. I have no immediate time. I have to leave again tomorrow, which is nice. It's just bizarre that it's supposed to get so bad because it's like warm out right now. I think the movie Frozen jinxed all of us this year. Change of plans. Got to go back out into the cold. 
with my soaking wet hair because Eddie is out of his melatonin and I asked him a few times today if he wanted me to pick it up for him while I was out or after the gym and he was like, no, 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 I'll do it. You know, and then he just tells me, he's like, I'll do it on my way home. These two, look at these two. Uh, I'll do it on my way home from work. And I was like, if it's gonna be snowing at three in the morning, I'll just go for you now. So he finally gave in and let me do it. I should have just did it. Like I should just know better. But anyway, I have to go back out. So I'm going to CVS now. No, 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 you guys can't come. No. And buy some melatonin for the man. Buy one, get one free. That's the way we're doing it. And now I'm looking at the snack aisle because you know, I need snacks in my life for some reason because I'm out and it's gonna snow. Totally normal logic. Having one of those nights where I don't know what I want for dinner. I hate those nights. I'm like in a not overly hungry mood. I'm hungry actually, so that was wrong. <clears throat> but I'm in a snacky mood. Like I kind of just want to have some Tostitos and spinach dip because I never even had it the other night. Yes, I know, I'm well aware, not a healthy meal. But I don't know, sometimes you just have to go with something like that and that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just in that kind of mood. You guys have been really stepping up your game of using the Just Keep Sweating hashtag. And I know it's been a few days since I have done shout outs, but I have a bunch that I wanna do right now and I'm so happy that there's so many new usernames and new people and you're all just motivated. So, all right, I'm gonna stop. Anyway, first things first. <clears throat> Running Red, you are so adorable. Quick three miles between student teaching and class. First 0.65 miles, I walked the dogs with my lover boy. Then the next two plus miles, I did some speed work. 728, then 735. No negative splits, but running in stores, I don't know what that is, calls for lots of traffic stops. <laughs> Damn, I mean, I know if you're, I can tell by your background that you're by the snow, which I am covered in, obviously, as you know. Not me physically, but the land I'm living in. And for you to get out there and run, you deserve like all the medals in the world. So, then I got a very nice shout out today. I love this, this is like made my afternoon. SMB31989, spending my sick day in bed with Carrie Bradshaw and just keep sweating, my girls. I love me some Carrie Bradshaw. There's nothing better than sex in the city. I'm sorry that you're sick and my nail polish is coming off. There we go. Um, but I love that picture. This is Healthy Sam Nutrition. Please recommend a good at-home hair treatment and hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I've said it before, hair, skin, and nails from Delta Labs USA. I take it every single day. My hair, don't judge it right now, has never been longer and stronger. As with my nails, they are growing like wildfire. I have to file and cut them every week. And you get $5 off if you use the coupon code Just Keep Sweating at checkout. Okay, and no, I don't get any commission for that. What we got here, Steph's bite by a bite. Come on, thank you. Arms are shaking so bad from today's workout. My mind is pushing my body harder, heavier weights, drop sets, serious motivation. That's how we do it. Damn right that's how we do it. You just have to start believing in you and you're so freaking right. Love this so much. What was the other one I saw? Oh, avocado athlete. I just love that you posted a video. I love these videos. See, I take classes, so I can't share this stuff with you guys. You guys should follow her. She's really motivating. And last but not least, I have to. Kalina underscore Nicole. I love when you guys share pictures with your dogs and tag me in it. It makes my day. This is such, oh my God, so cute. Seriously, post more pictures of your dogs, people, and tag me in them, please. Is that weird? I don't know. I love dogs. I love my dogs. I love other people's dogs. Um, I'm like, we can all just have a dog party virtually through the just keep sweating hashtag. Have you guys seen the new thing that you can do on Facebook? I think today is their 10 year anniversary or birthday, whatever you say for, um, Facebook. They have this thing where you can like look back and it like makes a video from your, the past, since you started using Facebook and, um, like your top moments. I just watched mine. And it made me a little teary-eyed. All of my top moments were from last year. Um, the first one was like when I said yes to the dress. And then when I said I was, we were getting like the post right before we got married. Then after we got married and the picture of my dad and I. Um, 
right before I walked down the aisle and I don't know, it just like made me really like happy sad. But if you guys, ha I'm sure you've seen it by now because my whole news feed is like flooded with everybody's videos. Um, I definitely recommend doing it because it is, it's really like, it's, it's really cool how it does it. And someone said that it's like a commercial with your friends in it, but, uh, I'm getting myself into bed and I'm going to start, uh, the fault in our stars because I'm so behind on pretty little liars. I had to get off of Twitter and Facebook because I don't want any spoilers. Um, I haven't watched a single episode this season yet. So I probably will catch up on that tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna read in bed and I'm gonna call it a night and hope that I can sleep much better tonight than I did last night. Um, and yeah, I hope you all had a fantastic day and that everything is good in your life and I'm very thankful for all of you and so many new subscribers. Keep giving that the video is a big old like and tell your friends to subscribe. I know not every day is fun, but there's some fun in every day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.